All over the world, peace and security of lives and property are recognized as primary conditions for progress and development of any society. Available records show that West Africa is among the world's most unstable regions. Nigeria, for instance, has been plagued by internal conflicts such as headsmen attacks on communities and Boko Haram insurgency. Physical, emotional, psychological, structural and cultural violence have also become the order of the day and these have weakened its capacity to provide security for its citizens. Peace and policy to work together. And I will use the example of the herdsman and the farmer. If the government has a policy and has said this zone belongs to herdsmen, we know that the cattle we want to eat fresh vegetation. And when they see cassava or, or maize or okra or whatever is green, it's food to them. But to the farmer, it's a loss. It's a loss because he has put a lot of money and all his energy to do his farm. Therefore, it is the government who will do what we are calling the zoning system. Let them zone the cattle to a particular zone so that farmers in their farm can have rest of mind. Poverty is one of the reasons why people go violent. You can see frustration all over the place. If somebody is frustrated, that person is supposed to be, uh, to result into violence. But it is the job of parents from the grassroots to teach their children to be peaceful, no matter how uh, frustrated you are. Blaming absence of peace in Africa on bad leadership corruption and economic mismanagement, experts say achieving sustainable peace and development in the region will require peace education for the youths. The human factors tend to move towards violence than peace. And the problem we are having is that we forgot peace must be taught. Violence doesn't need to be taught because it is inherent in our humanity. But peace can be taught. And that is why the scripture says we should see peace as a pursuit. Like we pursue a career, so also we have to pursue peace. But if we want to build peace, everyone has to contribute to the building. But we must start with peace education. And we call it structured peace education because it has to be structured if it will work. In a bid to promote the culture of peace in Nigeria, the African Foundation for Peace and Love Initiative is honoring Nigerians who have contributed in diverse ways to peace building in the country. Somebody has to chip in these children. Even as adults, we can still teach ourselves the way of peace. We know we, there's problem everywhere. There's frustration of no light, no gas, no, no food. But that doesn't mean that we have to deal with that violence with violence. We can still, you know, teach ourselves to deal with our situations, with our problems in a peaceful way. Make your voices heard without making any uh, uh, violence. Like people that always organize rallies. You can, you can organize rallies and talk to the, and let the appropriate authorities hear you. Not by throwing stones, not by carrying cutlasses, not by carrying guns. For the initiative, Nigerians should see promotion of peace as everybody's responsibility, and the government must evolve ways of addressing the root causes of conflicts in the country.